Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Red Show. We're here in the Big Red Liquors offices. This is uh, Jimmy Russell, who's been a distiller, who's the master distiller currently at Wild Turkey, but you've been a distiller there for 60 years. Uh, September the 10th this year will be my 60th year of making Wild Turkey bourbon. 60th year, that, that's amazing. So, I wanna ask you five questions. All right. Um, sure. And the, the first one I wanna ask is, so what do you attribute um, the most recent success of bourbon to? Well, the big thing about the bourbon, you know, in the 50s, 60s, and early 70s, bourbon was huge. And then the white goods come in with vodkas and the gins, and you young people started going to those. And a lot of the bourbon distillers at that time tried to compete with lighting their products up and all the change. Wild turkey, we did not. We kept the old-fashioned way and everything. We're making it the same way today as we did in 1954 when I went there. Same formula, our own yeast. We make our own yeast every day, and all I can guarantee you about the yeast is 59 years old. It was there and I got there, and we're still using the same yeast culture. What's one thing new that you've learned this year by being in the business? Well, the thing that's really helped the bourbon business the last few years is when we started coming out with the single barrels, small batches, limited editions, and that's what the people's really looking for. Yeah, I mean, when you were selling wild turkey in the 70s for, you know, $9.99 a fifth, and now you probably couldn't have imagined then getting $100 for a diamond anniversary right. and stuff like well, that. Well, you know, then you was paying about $40 for a new charred old barrel. We can only use that barrel one time. Right. Now you're paying $140 for that same barrel. So right. cost goes up, and everything we do with wild turkey is premium. We pay a premium for a grain or corn rind barley ball. Tell us what is the basic wild turkey flavor profile. The, th the things that we're looking for in tasting is the caramel, the vanilla, and the sweetness. And, and the last thing we look for is the finish. What kind of taste does it leave? We want it to leave a good taste in your mouth. What do you want people to know about your tenure at Wild Turkey? Well, the thing, day in and day out, I want wild turkey to taste the same today, tomorrow, eight years from now. If you buy a wild turkey, we want you to get that same taste, same, that consistency. We got a few of your, uh, some of the newer products up here, right. but of course, you, uh, along with your son Eddie, have done a lot of great work, and certainly I think there's a lot of respect from us well, thank you. for what you've done, and we appreciate your time here being with us. Thank so, you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.